there, Bullwinkle fans. Once again, you're tuned into the wrong program, for this is the Hoppity Hooper Show. Once again, we find our friends in serious trouble as they, uh, uh, funny. You don't look as if you're in serious trouble. Oh, why not? Everything's running very smoothly, thank you. Yeah, we got money in the bank and meat on the table. Even the weather's nice. Oh, no problems? No, no problems. problems. No harebrained schemes? No thieves, blackguards, or unspeakable Turks to outwit? Not even a bill collector. Uh -huh. Sure makes a dull episode, doesn't it? But, uh, <laughs> of course, our heroes can get into trouble at the drop of a hat. That's ridiculous. Look, I'll drop a hat and show you. <laughs> Uh oh, the wind's blowing it right out into the middle of the road, Waldo. Well, let's get it before somebody runs over it. No sooner had they started across the highway than... That's the last hat I'll drop for you, Charlie. And out of that strange-looking automobile stepped two of the richest men in the world. I told you, Ferkel, this car of yours is no good. Hit the least little thing and it stops. Why don't you watch where you're driving? You stay out of this, young man. My wind-up Ferkel 500 here is the finest car I've ever manufactured. Any idiot could drive it to anywhere in the United States in three days. Put your money where your Ferkel is, Ferkel. I'll bet you a billion dollars that car can't drive to anywhere in the United States in three days. It's a bet. You pick the place. All right. I bet your Ferkel 500 can't make it to Hawaii in three days. Hawaii? But Hawaii is... You said anywhere in the United States, and Hawaii is in the United States. Are you going to chicken out now? Not on your fat bank book. All I have to do is find somebody dumb enough to try it. Uh, pardon me for interrupting, uh, but would you mind backing this car off of us? It's Kismet, Bill's bottom. Yeah, the name is Fillmore. <laughs> How would you boys like a free vacation to Hawaii? Free, my favorite word. You mean you want us to drive this Ferkel 500 to Hawaii? Yes. It's a deal. What a pigeon. We have a South Seas vacation for nothing. This agreed, the Ferkel was wound up. Our heroes got in, and with Fillmore at the wheel, they were off. They'll make it, Bill's Bottom, you'll see. Is it possible? Hmm, I'd better make sure. And make sure he did. Going to the nearest phone booth, he looked up the number of an organization called RAT, which stands for Rotten Assassins and Thugs. An organization that will do anything for money. This is the head rat speaking. So you want us to stop three idiots in a furkle, huh? All right, I'll put a man from Rat on the case right away. And less than two hours later, back at the first one. Uh, hey, don't you think we ought to get some gas? Driving to Hawaii is a long trip. It's a good idea. There's a gas station just ahead. And completely forgetting that a wind-up Ferkel 500 runs on a spring, they pulled in. Here a man from Rat was ready and waiting for them. Are you the three guys that are driving to Hawaii by automobile? Yes, would you fill it up, please? I sure will. <laughs> and sticking the hose in through the window, the man from Rat poured gas into the front seat. I wonder how he knew we were driving to Hawaii. Well, probably just a lucky guess. By then, almost the entire cab of the car was filled with explosive gasoline and... That'll be 365 bucks, fella. Is that enough gas to get us to Hawaii? It's enough to get you where you're going. Well, that's all right, then. Here you are, my good man. Gee, our free vacation has cost us over $300 already. It's still cheap at the price, Hoppity. Let's be off, Fillmore. But as the Ferkel 500 pulled out of the gas station, the man from Rat stuck a burning fuse into the keyhole on the door, which turned the car into a rolling bomb. Dude, I sure get a boom out of driving this Ferkel. But bang, Fillmore, you get a bang out of driving it. Dude, bang to you, boom to me. Well, what's it gonna be, bang or boom? We'll find out next time in My Old Flame, or Your Gas is as Good as Mine. You know, only an idiot would really enjoy driving that new car, the wind-up Ferkel 500. Hey, boy, I like driving this car. <laughs> See what I mean? But by driving this car to Hawaii, we get a free vacation. Lovely word, free. Alas, unknown to our friends, trouble was just around the bend, for an evil organization known as RAT is conspiring to stop them stone-cold dead in the Ferkel. 
So when Fillmore pulled into a gas station, a man from Rat was waiting. Fill her up, please. Anything you say. And fill her up he did. Then the villain stuck a long fuse through the keyhole and lit it. When the car pulled away, it was a traveling bomb. Yeah, bomb or not, I still like driving it. Shorter and shorter burned the fuse. Then suddenly... Now, wait a minute. This is a wind-up car. It runs on a spring. We don't need any gas. You know, Hoppity, I think you may be right. Pull over, Fillmore. When they pulled over to the curb and opened the door, the explosive high-test gasoline poured out of the car, down through a storm drain, and into the sewers below the street. Well, there it goes. And there goes the 300 bucks we paid for, too. The, hey, what do you suppose this thing is? Who knows? Throw it away, Fillmore. You don't know where it's been. It's okay. Meantime, back at the gas station, the man from Rat was standing on a manhole cover. And when the fuse reached the gasoline in the sewer... Of course, word of this quickly reached Rat headquarters. How many times I gotta tell you to knock? Take him away. We gotta use plan B. The chief rat sent for his two rattiest rat agents and gave them detailed instructions. Blow them up, crash them, smash them, stomp them, and kill them dead. Understand? And for good measure, take away their bubble gum. All right, turn them loose. Among its other faults, the wind-up Ferkel 500 is not the fastest car in the world. And in a brief time, the two rat agents passed our friends as if they were standing still. Then, coming to a halt at a bend in the road, they set a nasty trap. You hide in the bushes with the cannon. When I make him stop, let him have it. Disguising himself as a pretty girl, the man from Rat poised himself by the side of the road and stuck out a well-turned ankle. Because well-turned ankles have been stopping traffic for years. However, this year... Oh, 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 oh! Gee whiz, Thelma, be careful. You almost ran down that lady with the well-turned ankle. Hey, well, somebody put on the headlight. Uh, it's nighttime. It is isn't nighttime, you nitwit. Your hat fell down over your eyes. Oh, I, I thought it was kind of a fast sunset. With their first attempt of failure, the dirty guys from Rat roared ahead to try again. Now, you take the machine gun and hide in the bushes. I'll make them think they got a blowout. And when they stop, I'll pop them in the mainspring. As our boys approached, the evil rat suddenly held up a sign. Look! Look! Bang! Oh, okay, we got a flat. I better pull over. No, no, Thelma, we don't have a flat. Something mighty strange going on here. Hey, the off day. Look there. Uh-oh. It seems that the quick-witted men from Rat have hit upon a plan that's absolutely foolproof. They're free lemonade. It, oh, boy. Free. Oh, what a gorgeous word. Our heroes, occupied in quenching their thirst, failed to notice the dirty work going on behind them. Where the two rats were planting explosive landmines just ahead of both their front wheels. When anything touches the top of these babies, bluey! Quick, here they come. Yes, here come our poor, unsuspecting friends back to the car. No, no, enough, enough! I cannot stand to watch it! Until next time, anyway. When we'll see the American way to go, or... Hooray for the red, white, and bluey! Last time, you'll remember, those rats from Rat had placed a couple of landmines in front of the wind-up Ferkel 500. If anything touches the top of these things, bluey! Quick, here they come! Yes, our heroes were returning from a decoy refreshment stand, where they had gorged themselves on free lemonade. You don't look so good, Fillmore. Nate, I do feel a trifle drawn, like. Did you drink the lemonade too fast? Yeah, maybe the first gallon, but the next two gallons I drank real slow. Oh, boy. Fuddled by three gallons of strong lemonade, Fillmore got behind the wheel and started off, straight backward. Oh, 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 oh. Traveling backwards made little difference to our friends, and a short time later they arrived at the edge of 
the Pacific Ocean. I forgot Hawaii's an island. How can we cross an ocean in an automobile? Now you ask me. Hey, hey, why don't we just take the highway? What, what highway? highway? There's no highway to Hawaii. Hey, there is too. Look. Hawaii, Hawaii Highway, highway this, this way. way. That's right, frog fans. It was a phony freeway put up by more dirty guys from Rat and unknown to our heroes. It ended abruptly just ahead. On they sped, heading for disaster. Hey, hey, we're not headed for disaster. We're going to Honolulu. Hey, my goodness. Uh, the weather certainly has turned nasty all of a sudden. I'll say it's raining cats and dogs. Those aren't cats and dogs, they're sharks. You're right, we're sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, then it's not raining. Thus inspired, Fillmore calmly rolled down his window. Yeah, I just can't get enough of that good sea air. Help! Close the window! Uh, Fillmore, you idiot! Getting any kind of air, good or bad, had become a real problem. But that's not the half of it. For not too far away, a submarine from Rat sat waiting. Quiet, ye swabs. We're about to get a transmission from the head rat at Rat. Captain Mino? I be here, sir. I got a job for you. There are three characters in your area that you ought to intercept and destroy, understand? Aye, aye, sir. And how will I recognize them? They are the only frog, fox, and bear in your area that are driving a wind-up Fertile 500 across the ocean to Hawaii. And what color be the Fertile? Never mind that. Get going. Aye, aye, sir. Look out the window. See if you can see them. Captain, I see a Fertile with a fox and a bear and a frog in it. What color be the Fertile? Well, it's... it's sort of fertile colored. Ha! That be them! Prepare to launch a torpedo! Well, how can this be? When last we saw our heroes, they were about to drown. Property, I'm proud of you. If you hadn't turned on the air conditioner to pump out the water and bring in air, we'd be a bunch of old soaps by now. But at that moment... Uh-oh! We forgot to rewind the motor and it just ran down! Good grief, we can't get out to wind it up! And with the motor stopped, the air conditioner won't work. We're filling up with water again. At that moment, the submarine from Rat fired the deadly torpedo, and it streaked directly toward them. But troubles come in bunches these days, and something else was streaking for them as well. Oh, no, it's a giant squid! Fortunately, this particular giant squid was a bit nearsighted, and when it saw the torpedo, mistook it for a girl squid. When the squid tried to give the torpedo a big hug, furious at being jilted, the squid was now madder than ever and turned on the stalled Ferkel. Meanwhile, the submarine, realizing the torpedo had missed, raced for the Ferkel to ram it. It add to that the fact that the tide's coming in, and I'd say it looks like we're gooners. That's goners, but otherwise you're right. Be absolutely sure to see our next episode, Submarine Sandwich. It may be our last one. Okay, and you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Hmm? Well, Frog fans, I ask you, what could be worse than being stuck on the bottom of the ocean in a Ferkel 500? Having a submarine out there trying to ram us, that's worse. And having a giant squid ready to attack us, that's worse. And having the car leaking besides. And having a... All right already. Yes, it looked like a race between the submarine and the squid to see who would get them first. Then the one the squid wins. Why do you say that? Simple, he's already got us. Yes, the great squid had firmly attached himself to the hapless circle. We're done for. But all was not lost. They still had a fighting chance. What? what? For as the squid struggled to get at them, his powerful tentacles were accidentally turning the Fertile's key. Hooray! And when the spring was wound tight enough, the car zoomed away just as the oncoming submarine crashed into the squid. Wow, that was...
was a close one. Hey, but now our worries are over. Yeah, yeah, except for this part of the ocean. It's dusty. Dusty? Yeah, yeah, look. The ocean's full of spider webs. Good grief, that isn't a spider web, that's a fish net. But it wasn't a fish net either. It was a rat net. Our friends were caught, hauled to the surface, and dumped on the deck of a trawler just crawling with agents from rat. Uh oh step on it, Fillmore! So, with the agents from rat on their heels, Fillmore drove the Perkle 500 as it had never been driven before. They roared up the main deck, down the after deck, after the fore deck, up the down deck, until finally... There's no way out. Hey, there must be some twist we haven't tried. Fillmore, that's it. We'll twist. Oh, Hoppity, this is no time for dancing. Uncle Waldo, how many twists can we give the key in our car? It says, do not turn more than ten times. Well, we're going to wind it up a thousand times. Give me a hand, Fillmore. And Fillmore and Hoppity began to turn the big key while Waldo discouraged some of their assailants with a handy belaying pin. They're gaining on me. How are you fellas doing? All set, Uncle Waldo. Hop in. Well, here we are. Now what? Now we're going to strip the gears and let it all unwind at once. Hang on. And as the dirty guys from Rat clambered over the car, Hoppity rammed the gear shift the wrong way. Suddenly released, the key of the wind-up Perkle 500 spun furiously, knocking villains over like ten And, more importantly, it acted like a helicopter blade, lifting the car high in the air. Hoppity, you've done it again! And unless my eyes deceive me... They wouldn't dare. That's Hawaii, right down there! Yes, the Perkle 500 settled toward the island paradise and hit the water just a short distance from the shore where a huge crowd awaited them, including Mr. Ferkel himself. Drive right on up, boys. Uh, we can't, Mr. Ferkel. We stripped the gears. Our Ferkel will never move again. Yes, but we're only six feet from shore. No use, Fillmore. It might as well be six miles. You lose, Ferkel. Pay up. Hey, no, look. Now we're only five feet from shore. Uh, you mean Hawaii is creeping up on us? No. Huh? I mean the tide is going out. Yes, it just so happens that the tide in Hawaii drops seven feet every eight hours. And in a short while, our heroes were high and dry. Hey, no, no, my name is Fillmore. That's Hoppity and... We did it! We traveled to Hawaii by car. Hooray! My boy, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Uh, but now we're stuck here in Hawaii with no way to get home. Fillmore, old friend, there is always a way to get home. You just leave that to old Uncle Waldo. <sighs> and less than two hours later, our little pals were definitely on their way home. But Waldo, hitchhiking across the ocean will take a year. Nonsense. It shouldn't take more than, say, 12 months. Besides, who's in a hurry? Yes, for another gripping saga of love, romance, and adventure, join us 12 months from now. Of course, if you're in a hurry, tune in next time as usual for more adventures of Hoppity Hooper. <laughs> It's... Hoppity, haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. And now, here are some scenes from our next show. And with chattering teeth, our friends climbed into the somber black hearse for a ride to the hotel. I didn't think I'd ever take but one ride in one of these. You might still be right. Gee, that's a bad knock you've got in the engine there. That's not the engine, Hoppity. Those are my knees. All too soon, the mysterious garage man deposited them in front of a sagging, weather-beaten old house. This is the hotel? It looks like the Death Valley Hilton. Somebody's opening the door. <laughs> but nobody's there. Hmm. Looks like maybe it's time for us to go. <laughs> Now I'm sure it is. <laughs>